I guess doing content creation for YouTube doesn't mean you have to have a good voice. I guess it's it's useful, but I don't think anyone's ever said, hey, oh, that's a freaking Abrams. Oh, I can't speak right now. Oh, it's an it's a Tusk Seb V2. All right, we're just gonna take it easy. All right, howdy folks. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are checking out the amazing Warfighter mod. Again, for Call to Arms. As always, you can find a link to the mod and to the game I'm playing down in the description. I've done a couple of videos on the Warfighter mod. One that was purely infantry focused, one that was mostly infantry focused, and a little bit of mechanized gameplay. Today we're doing a hundred, you know, a thousand percent tank or vehicle gameplay. This is one of the final missions in the GRM campaign, which is I think Global Revolutionary Movement. And they're basically like the GLA, the equivalent to the GLA from Command and Conquer. There, in, in this story, I believe the enemy government forces are attacking us, and we're gonna try to hold the line for 10 minutes and then push out from our base and eliminate one of their positions. This is the only view I'm gonna have. I'm just gonna be a tank commander. That's the only thing I have, I have one tank. Normally, uh, you know, if you know anything about Call to Arms or about this series, you are usually controlling multiple units, but no, today we have just the single T-80, I think this might be a T-80BV under our control. We do not have any repairs or anything like that. The only thing we have is one life. Now, Warfighter is a pretty crazy mod by itself, and we're also using the highest difficulty possible difficulty possible you can select in game called uh, i guess very aptly warfighter i'm not sure of the developers <laughs> uh i don't know if the developers themselves uh, called warfighter difficulty warfighter difficulty but oh man this already feels like i'm playing gunner heat pc but in like a weird rts version as you can see, we have a pretty large amount of vehicles around us. We have BMP-3s, T-62s, I think a T-80 just drove by us. And the only thing we're really... Ah, oh, crap, I just accidentally tapped the smoke screen. Luckily, we have our thermal, so we can use those to look through. We have uh, some friendly T-80s on our side. As you can see here, what is that? Is that a Vampir? Is that a Gustav? I can't really tell. That looks like... I can't really tell what kind of launcher that is. It looks weird. But we have friendly anti-tank infantry as well. As you can see, we're mostly fighting, like, old American equipment. They have some BMP-2s and 3s in there, though. So let's see... Oh, but it just survived. Let's switch to HE. Because I don't think we want to use an APA uh, DS shell. Oh, that BMP-3's turret just flew off. So the thing with the Warfighter mod is that it just turns... My allies are all the way up there. They're just, they're just, oh no, they're gonna get themselves all killed and then I'm gonna die in a horrible way. Anyway, as you can see, they're all running up there. They're just gonna die. Anyway, Warfighter mod. I made a video or two on it. I don't think this video necessarily will need a lot of explanation as to what the mod is, because it's pretty obvious by now if you know anything about Call to Arms. It basically takes Call to Arms, turns the crazy knob up to 11, in, in a good way, I should say. Uh, lots of sounds, lots of new voices, by the way. Something that the Call to Arms developers still haven't done. Although, I need to make a quick distinction here. In my last video, I saw a lot of people saying like, Oh man, I can't believe that the developers for Gates of Hell are working and have made this piece of sh You gotta understand that this game was made and published by DMS. Gates of Hell is published by DMS, yes. Also, all my allies are dying. It's made by Barbed Wire Studios. So a different developer team works on Gates of Hell and has nothing to do with Call to Arms. I don't think they even were... They might have been a studio at the time, but I definitely did not work on Call to Arms or on Men of War Assault Squad 2 Cold War. And I know lots of people in the comments were talking about that. And yeah, I, I, I agree. A lot of people should be bringing up Metaphor Assault Squad 2 Cold War and how, let's be honest here, they kind of really screwed over their customers, whether that was their decision or 1C's decision, who I think um, published Metaphor Assault Squad 2 Cold War and DMS worked on it, it gets really confusing. Now, funnier, if I also mention Metaphor 2, which is coming out, I think, the early next, next year in 2023, is made by a different company. 
So if you talk about Men of War and Call to Arms in Gates of Hell, you have like four companies, DMS, Barbed Wire Studios, 1C Company, and Best Way, all working on their own thing. Yeah, I know, it's very confusing. Oh, I could barely see that. I really need to use the thermals or I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna die. I do have to say that we are a little bit of an issue as a, uh, well, let our BMP. Let's just uh, reverse. Ooh, a little bit of an issue. Most of my freaking allies died, I'm pretty sure. So we're down to uh, not a whole lot of units. So I'm actually going to just say bye-bye to the friendly tanks up here and reverse a little bit to a better position. But you got to keep in mind, when I talk about Call to Arms, I'm talking about purely Call to Arms. I'm not talking about Gates of Hell. I will call it Gates of Hell, but I'm talking about Gates of Hell. And uh, there's so much just to think about when you think of Men of War, Men of War 2, Men of War Assault Squad, these are all, <laughs> these are all really diff- that guy that I was looking at, by the way, I think he died, the guy with the rock. I think he just exploded. These are all different, usually different companies that work on them, so the people that make this game are not actively making Gates of Hell, they are publishing it, though, in case you uh, think that matters, but yeah, there you go. There's some interesting information, and I feel like every video I make on these games, I need to have a little disclaimer where it's like, okay, this is who's making it, this is who's not making it, this is who's publishing it. We got BMP 2s and 3s. Hey, that one's down. There's M60s. Oh, I'm really, I don't like the ATGM sound at all. It scares me so much. But the, you can see the Warfighter basically just takes Call to Arms, because that's what I was talking about. Takes Call to Arms and turns it up to a billion, just on a crazy scale. We have sounds, effects. Sometimes your frames will, <laughs> will suffer. And that's, I think, more of a Call to Arms issue than it is a, a warfighter mod issue but you gotta live a little right to to you gotta like sacrifice a little bit to look cool although we missed that vehicle the explosions in warfighter and the effects are awesome and i actually see people say something that's interesting to me um, and something i totally agree with too i think it'd be really cool if we got to port some of the call to arms things like the modern units into Gates of Hell. Gates of Hell just does some things different. It's hard to explain, but a lot of people in the comments usually, oh man, I can't wait for someone to port Call to Arms to Gates of Hell. And you know, if that's legally possible, like if DMS doesn't mind people doing that, I'm hoping it happens one day because, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm trying to hit this, ah, oh, crap, I couldn't hit it. Oh, so, some, oh my, everything is just happening here. Okay, I need to fall back because we're running out of armor in front of me and I can't, I can't really die. Everyone else around me can die. I'm just not allowed to die because then it's game over. So we're going to just reverse. We do have some friendly reinforcements coming in, it looks like, in the back. Let's smoke up, which hopefully means that we're safe from the Sheridans. Not Sheridans, the Patons. Sheridans are not M60s. Because, oh, that's an Abrams. Yeah, I don't think I'm safe from Abrams when I use... Uh, smoke because they probably have thermals unlike the m60s so i'm not sure what i can do against this guy well that didn't really do anything although we may have damaged his vehicle because i think they build out but i've been really liking warfighter warfighter has really made me i honestly did not think that in okay i don't know what's that a, is that a <laughs> why you guys are going to do it go drive to your death if you okay, it's good 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 because at least they got off the vehicle and realized they should not just drive right at them Ooh, that's a turret knocking on that Abrams. That's good. It's, it's, what made me come back to this game is 100% the mod. And I think that that requires uh, a lot because Call to Arms is kind of a basic game. And I'm, again, you know, no voices, no, no voices from any of the factions. And I'm really happy to, to see that people just in their free time, they basically fix this game. You can say, yeah, it's easy lifting voices from. Syrian Warfare, or Call of Duty, or wherever the voices come from. Sure, yeah, it's obviously easier to, to make them yourself, but Call to Arms has had a pretty long time, uh, you know, <laughs> making this game. The developers have had a very long time, and I'm just kind of disappointed, I guess, in the end. Uh, but basically, if you're trying to find a mod that has fixed a lot of the issues that I had with the game, it mostly being the fact that I was very quiet, maybe a little... <laughs> Okay, BMP3, okay, okay, we're just gonna, okay, we're just gonna reverse here and act like you're not blasting everything out of freaking oblivion. Yeah, I'd recommend 
really giving this mod a try. I mean, it, it's free, so I don't I don't see why why you wouldn't. And I think if you own Gates of Hell, you obviously have to own Call to Arms. It's part of the deal. You have to own this. Where did the turret go? It just disappeared. That's how hard I shot it. Oh, wow. That was a juke. Did you see that? That BMP just absolutely did a 180 or something. But basically, yeah, you need... Oh, that's... Oh, oh that's a tank. That's a tank. Shoot it again. Shoot it again. EFS. I'm trying to get, like, maybe, like, rebel out a turret. I don't think I have any AP left. Oh, that's not good. Smoke, 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 smoke. But if you own this game because you own Gates of Hell, I would recommend playing this this mod and checking it out. It's totally different from what your Gates of Hell experience is. And again, maybe one day somebody, if it's legally okay, obviously with DMS, somebody might port this to Gates of Hell, which I think would be absolutely fantastic, allowing some of the assets from Call to Arms to be used in Gates of Hell. Right now, by the way, we are just being absolutely... I don't even know what's happening. I'm just... I don't have any AT or AP left. There's only two enemy vehicles... Oh, that's not true. There's a lot more enemy vehicles left than I thought. And we're down to just like three rounds of Heat FS. Yeah, the voice acting in this game has never been a strong suit. It's pretty funny, actually. Uh, I did a voiceover for the Dutch faction in Valor. I am Dutch, and I got asked by the developer of the Valor mod for Assault Squad 2, like, hey, do you mind uh, voicing over the Dutch faction? Sure, why not? And I think I did a pretty decent job for someone who isn't really like a voice actor. I mean, I guess doing content creation for YouTube doesn't mean you have to have a good voice. I guess it's it's useful, but I don't think anyone's ever said, hey, oh, that's a freaking Abrams. Oh, I can't die right now. Oh, it's an it's a Tusk Seb V2. All right, we're just going to take it easy. I don't really know how I'm going to get rid of that. Oh, well... I didn't think that was going to work, but it was, that was high explosive. And we actually just did a bunch of damage. That might be the Warfighter thing more than the game, but we are really low on ammo. But I think we may have actually beaten back the enemy, unless we have to knock out the last couple of infantry. We'll just push ourselves all the way over there and see what happens. So now we get to go on the attack. Uh, I'm assuming we got some ammo? Eh, not really. Not really get any ammo, actually. But we got glorious brothers here. Left, right, and center. We have a brother repairing over there. This does really kind of feel like Syrian warfare in the, the video game. Now, the thing is, I don't play with Fog of War in Call to Arms, and I've explained so many times why that I won't explain it for the 19th time. 90th? 19th time. Oh, is this an ammo station? Nice, nice. Okay, 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 okay. There's... I'm really worried about their power and their ATGMs. I'm not going to be able to just evade. They have Abrams. Okay, that's what's... B oh. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's see if the Tandem Heat can do something. That just killed a single crew member in that T... In that Abrams. It's just... It does... They don't care. They don't care what I'm doing to them. Yeah, we knocked out one Abrams. Doing like... Oh, okay. If you hit him like right below the turret, I think it does something. Okay, there we go. We knocked out a bunch of Abrams, but now the issue is we're out of ammo. So we're just going to drive back. Oh, got him. Sniped him with an ATGM just over the ridge. There's still a lot of armor back there. And uh, I have to kind of use thermals because otherwise I can't see anything. All of our stuff is going to die the second it peaks this ridge. Look at that. And it's a T-80 back there. I, I don't like the ATGM noise at all. It scares me every time I hear it. I think it's about to come for me next. Okay, that was a BMP-3. Maybe a waste of an ATGM, but... Okay. Uh, BMP, don't let it shoot its ATGM. Okay, we knocked it out. That's what matters, because their ATGMs will kill you, basically. There it is. No question about that. I could be dead any moment here. Okay, that one's dead. That was a ATGM vehicle with the tow missiles, so it's not a fan of that at all. 
trying to find cover here if there is any. That BMP3 is most like that's a shirt that's a I know I might call it a Sherman. I've been playing Civil Division 1, so I was very inclined to call it a Sherman. It's obviously an Abrams, but I wonder if we can We just hit the tree. I wonder if we can hit this Abrams. That was an oh. Oh, I'm out of ATGMs, crap. And I'm also out of heat. Can I shoot like red load a turret ring? Did we do anything? I think we just tickled it. Although, I think we're just tickling it. Okay, well, we killed one of the commanders. I don't think we can do anything to it. We're just staring it down angrily. Colonel, some of our tanks have just got oh, no, we're going to die. I'm going to fill the mission. I got to get out of here. It is not really much I can do. Go for it, my brothers. Go and throw yourself into their jaws until I can kill enough of them, hopefully. There's just... I don't think this is going to be winnable. I don't think you can push into this. Maybe you can, but I just need more ATGMs. Do I have any yet? No, I think I very slowly you get, like, um, ammo back. But you really should go back. I should really go back to the ammo point. But I'm also kind of lazy. I don't even know if I did anything there. I really want to try to do this without going... Oh, we're over the map border. Okay, that's why I was stuck here. Okay. Okay, that's good. But there's got to be more enemy vehicles around the corner. That one's down. It's a TDBV down. There's at least one there. Which I think... Oof. Well, that's what happens when you... <laughs> that's what happens. Uh, pretty accurately, actually, I would say, uh, as we've seen in footage of the last couple of weeks. So, maybe not a very effective final attack, considering they still had an Abrams here, a T-80. They had another M a Patton, another BV. I, I could have won this one, I think. But it's not supposed to be. It's not going to happen today anymore, but... Just a quick look at the Warfighter mod, mostly talking about how good it is, it's free, and if you own Call to Arms Gates of Hell, there's no way you don't own this game, because I'm pretty sure you have to. So that gives you a good reason to download this game, download the Warfighter mod, and check it out. And I would love to see you in the next one.